to go and grab some food and then uh, go wash the monster and see how that goes. So take a ride with us. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, our channel is mostly going to be about a vlog or vlog style. <clears throat> it's going to have a lot to do with the car, um, building it up from the ground up. Right now, it's just a few bolt-ons. Uh, not too much really done to it at the moment. Um, we need to get it retuned. Uh, I do have E85 coming up. It is a 2016 2SS that I am trying, and most people are going to hate, but I am trying to make look like a Z01. Um, of course, it is debadged. Um, I just prefer the, like, the look of the Z01. And, of course, most people are going to say, you know, you could have just went out and got a ZL1, but uh, it's just way too expensive, especially with how the world is going right now. It's just way too much. The car right now, uh, it's sitting with JBA long tube headers back into a Catalyst X-Pipe, and from there, it goes straight back into uh, dual Flowmasters. Uh, the Flowmasters, I have a video up. It's a short if you guys want to hear, and there's actually a video up on this, the page as well. If you guys want to go check that out, I'll leave a link up in the top left or right. And uh, you guys can hear the sound clips and give me some suggestions and uh, tell me what you guys think would sound best on it. I personally think that I, I want to go with like maybe a Stainless Works or a Corsa. But go ahead and leave a comment down below. Um, other than that, I have a few visual mods. Like I said, I got the ZL1 front bumper. I painted that myself. Did that in the garage. Uh, prepped everything. It's from Icon Motorsports. I'll leave a link down in the description as well if you guys are interested and want to buy one. Um, I'll give you guys some clips of that when we go into the car wash and stuff. Um, now, I am not a professional painter. Um, I did get the paint from O'Reilly's. If you didn't know, some O'Reilly's does and makes and sells paint. So I got it from an O'Reilly's from where we're from. And uh, we did that, prepped it, all that good stuff. I have side skirts. Um, they're not the greatest. I plan on replacing them later on. Uh, we do have the, I believe, I want to say it's the RS spoiler that we got rid of the SS spoiler. And I put the, it's got the wicker bill on it. Um, had to modify that a little bit to give me some more uh, stability. Um, other than that, other mods are a real ZL1 hood, which most people don't, most people say that they don't fit. So if you're looking to get the ZL1 hood, they definitely do fit on the car. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's an SS or an RS. It, they're all the same when it comes to the hood size. Um, it takes some penagling. Ask, ask Allison over here. She, uh, she had to help me out and it was a little frustrating um, getting the hood on, but not too, too bad. Uh, other than that, what are your thoughts on the car? Uh, I think it's really been a fun project so far watching it come from what it was when we got it to something almost completely different now um, in a really short amount of time. It's amazing what some of those cosmetic things um, and those somewhat cheap things that you can do to really change the appearance um, of the vehicle and it makes it look so much more aggressive. Uh, reiterating on what he said about uh, the cost effectiveness or the cost efficiency of buying the 2SS versus the ZL1, it really does make a big difference. Like you can do all of the mods, you can do everything you need to to a 2SS and it look just like a ZL1 and you still spend less money. Um, so I definitely think it's a really economical choice. I agree, especially if you guys, if anyone's like me, I sit and scour the internet for deals. Uh, for example, the seats, they are the ZL1 seats. They're out of a 2020 ZL1 that only had 7,000 miles on it. And uh, I got fronts and rears for 2,200 bucks. Now I believe that they are like $2,500 per seat, my, excluding the back seats. Um, the hood itself I paid $1,000 for. And as anyone knows, the carbon fiber on that hood, the centerpiece is easily worth $1,500 alone. Um, now that might be, you know, today's prices. It, it shouldn't really be that high. 
Um, you should really be able to get it a lot cheaper, but because of stuff the way it is right now, it's you, you really can't get it any cheaper. I got lucky. Um, it has a couple of cosmetic issues. It's not the same color. Um, I have it wrapped in a uh, black, which by the way, hint, hint, we are gonna be wrapping full wrap on the car. An amazing design and I can't wait for you guys to see that I can't wait for it to go in it'll probably still be a little while we were supposed to start doing mods to the car first uh, we had some stuff come up and now we're just taking it a day at a time so right now I think the next steps we're gonna do is fix the issue with the AA transmission uh, I'm gonna look into getting the circle D torque converter and have the trans rebuilt or at least refreshed uh, with the Circle D to put in the car retuned on the dyno. I'll get you guys awesome footage on that as well. And then uh, the E85 in. So we'll do our first ride with E85 and see how that goes. And I think that's going to be cool considering E85, it burns cooler. Uh, it might not last as long, but it's way cheaper. That corn fed, everyone loves it. Um, but it, it does give the car an additional about 30 to 40 horsepower to the rear so you know that's a that's a big boost for you know three hundred dollars for these six gen cars now they might be a little bit cheaper for older like fifth gens uh, I'm not too sure I haven't really looked into it I got mine from SMG uh, speed I'll leave their link down in the description as well um, great brand it's very stealthy and uh, it's just gonna look great, so stay tuned for that. We're gonna have an install video on that because you can install it without having it tuned. You just cannot put E85 in until after you're tuned. Um, other than that... Um, Does E85 change the sound? It can, yes. It'll make it sound a little bit more, uh, a little bit more aggressive from a couple of the vehicles that I've seen. Personally, I, I'm not 100% sure. I haven't had E85 on any of my vehicles prior. Really, this is the probably the loudest vehicle I've ever owned, and you know that. And I mean, I've had plenty. Oh yeah, it's loud. Um, I don't know if we can get you a sound clip later on, um, other than the, the sound clips. Um, also, I know that the audio might be a little bit to the south side of not being the greatest. Um, I do plan on getting the uh, GoPro Hero 9s mic external mic which I've noticed has a great sound quality and a great lockout so that's what we plan on doing we plan on building up a lot more and I hope that you guys enjoy the videos um, the feedback is always nice so definitely tell us what you think we should do and what what kind of content you guys would like to see we're we're in the stages where we can be so malleable to you and what you guys want to see um, so just give us suggestions. Um, I also plan on doing a project. I know one of my friends wants to buy it or he's buying a, a car. I won't tell you guys what yet, just in case it doesn't happen, but he wants to build it and make it his own and he wants me to help. So we might be doing that. Um, as for other things, other mods coming up, it's not, I guess it's really not a mod, but it'll be a how to install video if you guys are curious or if there's not that many videos I know that there's one specific video on the install for the door panels um, he goes pretty in depth uh, in depth but we are going to be doing it as well so um, we're installing the ZL1 door panels I actually have a short on the page about us buying them and you know the, us receiving them uh, other than that We've got the center shifter piece, it's done. Um, the only thing that's really left is the knee bolsters and that's pretty much it. We have the dash piece, I really enjoy that. So I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I do. Um, it's actually quite nice. Allison definitely didn't think that she was gonna like it either, so. Yeah, it definitely does a really nice job of breaking up the texture. Um, just giving it a little different look, it looks really nice. Yeah, I agree. Um, we're about to pull up and get our food and then we are going to go to the car wash. So we will see you guys in a little bit.
Get this show on the road. Let's go back, 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 back. back. Taking a film of footage? I think there's slow motion. Oh, okay. <laughs>
All right, last little bit, spot free rinse. Last thing we gotta do is just clean the inside. Let's, uh, let's get to it. All right, Miss Allison, <laughs> since this is your side. That is not my trash! <laughs> Come on. That is not my trash. <laughs> I did not sign up for this. Here. Water, not mine. Not mine. I drink a lot. Brandon apparently never goes there. All right, guys. All jokes aside, we are done washing the car for now. So we will uh, catch you in the next video.